Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Arabella Hair. And today I'm gonna to be showing you another closure wig. This is their Bohemian Style Curly Wave Wig. This one is in the length 24 inches. Now this unit does come with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable straps, and it also has an elastic band. go in and do some tweaking to this unit i did go ahead and bleach the knots on my unit this one does come with a pre-pluck hairline also i plucked it out a little bit more and then i washed it using my aussie moist shampoo and conditioner so i went ahead and tightened up my straps in the back i also have on my silicone band because i wasn't sure how the fit was going to be and i'm glad that i put it on because it did feel a little bit roomy just to make sure that the sides lay down, I'm gonna be placing some bobby pins for some extra security. And then I'm going to take my wax stick and go around the front of this hairline. And then I'm gonna use my hot comb just to kind of press everything back so it can be nice and sleek. You can see this hairline is looking really good. Now you don't have to pluck this. I did go in and pluck, but it was just a little bit. So nothing too dramatic. So I think you'll be safe to wear the hairline as is straight out of the package. So I'm gonna be cutting off this lace. I also wanna let you guys know, I did use a little bit of tint spray so it can match up more to my skin. And you can see a little bit of the lace left on the side and I'm just making sure to adjust everything. Using this olive oil spray, just so I can have a little bit more reinforcement. Now you can rock this glueless, but because it was a little bit big on my head, I wanna go in with this spray. You guys see that I'm being very light handed with it because I like to take my wigs off. I do not want to sleep in a wig and be in a wig all day. So I'm just gonna use my blow dryer to speed up the process. Right here, I'm gonna be pulling out some hairs on the side because where the closure piece starts, it is a little bit bulky and I do want to conceal that. Now, you don't have to do this if you are going to probably rock a middle part, but because I do plan on rocking this as a side part, I need that to be covered up. So I'm gonna be playing around with this. And I also will end up having to go in and fix the other side just because of the way that I am gonna be wearing the hair. But I'm using the curling iron, not curling iron, the flat iron to curl that hair under just so it's easier to swoop. Now this is what the parting space looks like. I feel like you get a very good amount of parting space. This is five by five once again. So you have a little bit of versatility going on with the parting. So if you don't wanna just part this in the middle, you can definitely rock this as a side part. And I'm doing a curved side part today. And then I'm gonna take my wax at the top and then use my hot comb to lay everything down. See, I did have to re-swoop that one side. So I'm just gonna place my elastic band on so that everything could melt in while I work on styling this hair. As you guys can see, this hair is really nice and full. It is 210% in density. So I'm definitely going to section this off and then I am going to comb through it. And as you can see, the comb is not having any issues. I'm gonna use my water bottle and make sure to get this wet. And then I'm gonna go in with this olive oil mousse. This one is for curls. I'm gonna make sure to leave a link down below in the description area of all the products that I am using today.
did take me some time to make sure that everything was together. I did also go off of camera and diffuse this hair because it took a while, y'all. It took a while to get it dry. So now I'm just gonna place some of my powder into the parting space area and then remove this elastic band. And as you can see, the lace is looking really good. I'm gonna cut off some of that hair on the side and place just a little bit of powder into the front of the hairline and then use my Sleek and Shine Serum serum and work on fluffing up this hair. is the final look this hair is absolutely gorgeous it is really nice and full now this unit does start at 16 inches and it goes all the way up to 28 inches this is the natural black color but on the website they offer this in the 99j color and also 33 brown now as far as the closure goes i think it looks really good and also on the website they do offer this in the pre-cut option or you can tell them no i don't want it pre-cut but make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts on this unit this is thick 210% in density. This is 24 inches once again. So if you do not like a lot of hair, then you need to back away from this or you need to see if they do offer a lower density because if you're not used to this, it's gonna be heavy, you're gonna be hot, and you might get annoyed. I'm loving the texture of this hair. This is Bohemian Curly once again. It's more of a wave and then towards the ends is where you get the curliness. And I actually like how, you know, everything looked. I was a little bit unsure because get out of the package, you could see the waves, but they weren't really noticeable. So once I washed it and then I added my mousse, I feel like it popped back to life. This is just a little bit too big on my head. Also put some bobby pins on the side part and the back of my ear, just to kind of have it lay down more. Even though I have my silicone grip on, it's fitted in this area, but when something is too big on your head, if the cap is too big, it's not going to fix everywhere else. It's just going to give you some extra security. So I'm noticing a little bit of roominess just right in this area back here. And then also in the nape area, I'm noticing some roominess. So just be aware that if you do have a smaller head, I think this will be great for somebody who does have a larger head, or you can see if they do offer a small cap size. I went over far. So if you notice like a little bit of a ripple, it's because that track is right there. So I would just kind of scoop that over a little bit more to cover up that track, but that's why it's like that. Um, also on the side, I noticed that this area was a little bit thicker than what I would like. I like for my closures and the track pieces over here to lay down really flat and I like for them to be thin. So it's laying down flat, but I don't feel like it's thin. So I had to take out some extra hair over here to cover up on this side. It is close to cutting off that lace without it showing, but if I would have cut into it anymore on this side, I would have been cutting into the closure part. So this definitely helps to cover it up. And then I put my elastic band on just to kind of have it, you know, lay down a little bit more because of this area is a bit bulky. This is a high maintenance unit. You are gonna have to refresh and take care of it because of the density, because of the length, and because of the texture, you are going to have to refresh, especially in the nape area. I did put some sleek and shine serum to help kind of control the freeziness and flyaways. But the more you fluff up, as you can see, the bigger it's going to get. The more you run your fingers through it, it's going to get some snags. I'm noticing some snags in the nape area and then just kind of right here where it starts to curl up at. So just be aware that it's going to need some refreshing and maintenance. You know what you guys think about this unit? It's definitely giving me summertime vibes. I'm loving the closures. I've been doing a lot of closures on my channel lately. I feel like you can definitely still give them the frontal look and still make it look really good so in this one i am going to make sure to leave a link down below in the description area guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys